Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial about Gosign. More exactly, how to install the software on your computer. Uh, first of all, we go to our website suma.com and we click on the support page over here. And then we click on software firmware and we select the vinyl cutters. If we scroll down, you will see Suma GoSign, but that's not the only software we're going to install today. We're also going to install Suma GoSign tools. Uh, this is to include some plugins in your CorelDRAW or Illustrator software. Uh, these plugins, you will see them more in detail in future um, uh, future uh, tutorials. Uh, so okay. So first of all, we click on Suma Go Sign. So a download start, and we do the same for our Suma Go Sign tools. Okay, both our files are downloaded, and we're going to start with the Suma Go Sign tools. So we click on the executive, we press run, and a wizard starts immediately. We press next. A folder will get installed onto your computer. You can choose wherever you want to place it. Uh, I leave it on standard and I press next as well. Um, then install and then uh, the progress bar starts running to show you an indication on where the installation is at the moment. Goes quite fast as you see. Uh, a pop-up screen appears where you can immediately see uh, that's my Plugins for Illustrator is successfully installed, and the same counts for my CorelDRAW version. So also my plugins for CorelDRAW are successfully installed. Uh, I press OK, and that's it for the GoSign tools. Now we press on the download file for GoSign itself. We press Run as well, and a similar wizard starts as well. We press Next. A folder again will be installed onto your computer. We press next, install, and a similar progress bar starts running as well. Uh, as you see, it goes also quite fast. And then an extra pop-up screen uh, pops up for driver settings for the camera. You need to install these as well. Uh, another small wizard starts where you can press, press next uh, and then finish it. So that's the installation of the software. Then it will start up where you have to uh, choose your action sets you want to use. We have basic action set and advanced action set. Uh, the basic action set is for those uh, very simple uh, print and cut jobs and, and cut jobs only. Uh, advanced action sets is for those who want to take it to another level uh, to automate the process more uh, using the barcodes, using hot folder functionalities, uh, twin workflow even, uh, and so on. Uh, those functionalities are uh, unlocked in the Pro Pack, so more on that later. For now, I choose the basic action set. I press OK. I have to enter my email address. So only one email address uh, is possible to enter. You can not install the software on two different uh, type of computers while both uh, email addresses are the same. So that's not possible. So one email address for one license. And then you have to enter your device serial number. Press continue, and then you see that my main license is activated. Only the last six digits are visible. Uh, the activation key in general is then generated uh, automatically. Uh, 
Uh, then you see also the Pro Pack, which is not activated. So the Pro Pack is like already mentioned um, to unlock um, multiple automated workflows like barco barcode functionality and hot folder functionality. You can try it for 30 days uh, for free uh, and after it uh, you need to decide either whether you want to uh, unlock it so you have to order it or not. For now I leave it like this and I continue. My software will start uh, will get open and you see immediately that we have to uh, add a device to the software otherwise we won't be able to output our jobs so you can give your this device a name uh, for now I will do it S1D140FX uh, why this name because you can already see that uh, this particular cutter is connected to my uh, computer through USB uh, also, you see the uh, another cutter S1 D60 with an IP address, so this cutter is connected through the Ethernet and is also visible. Uh, but I select my uh, connected USB connected cutter. I press OK, and that's how we install uh, GoSign. If you now go to devices, you see that our cutter is implemented in here, and now we can start working with it. So, this was a tutorial about how to install GoSign. Uh, yeah, see you for the next one. Bye bye.